I went vegan in 1988, and when I went vegan, I was very excited that I was no longer contributing to animal suffering because that had been causing me a lot of stress to know. And so I had a few days where I felt really good about what I had done, and I soon realized, well, the situation is still there. There's still a huge problem with all these animals suffering and, and being killed, and so I need to do a lot more. I got involved in animal activism, and after um, a few years, I got some experience as to what was effective and what wasn't in terms of what I could do, what I could contribute. The first few things I got involved with was protesting product testing on animals, as well as protesting fur. The model then was to basically do maybe a protest once a month, and then you wouldn't do a whole lot in between. It seemed like we were putting a lot of effort into reaching a very small number of people. I started to feel as though we should really be focusing on doing outreach to the public about eating animals and the powerful reasons as to why they should switch to plants. One of the ways to do that would be to have a booklet to hand to people, just go out on the street and hand it out, or go to a college and hand out booklets. And so we created the first brochure that, with color pictures of how farm animals were treated. We printed up about 10,000 flyers and it took us about a year to hand them out, which is funny to think about in retrospect because now we hand out typically 10,000 in a day and many days we hand out much more than that. And now we hand out about a million booklets per semester at about a thousand schools every semester. So the program has really grown over the years and we feel that now it's making a big impact on society because we educate these college students who then go on to educate others. One day I was walking around Union Hall on Purdue University's campus and I saw a girl with her table and a little square TV. I went right up to her and I said, well, what are you doing? What do you have? And she handed me a vegan outreach booklet. And that was the first time that I learned about the dairy and the egg industries. Despite being an intelligent 20-something year old human being who lived and grew up in small town uh, USA where there were farm animals all around. That was the moment that I learned about the dairy and the egg industry. And it, it blew my mind in so many ways. And that was the turning point for me. That was when I said, I don't want to be a part of this. And I, I wouldn't have been able to say that had I not been given access to that information from the Vegan Outreach booklet. Vegan Outreach is an international nonprofit that works to prevent cruelty to farm animals. We've reached over 32 million people with booklets, mostly students at college campuses, because they're younger and have more meals ahead of them are more open to ideas of uh, social change, and many for the first time are starting to cook for themselves. In my opinion, these booklets from Vegan Outreach are a metaphorical stick of dynamite that blows open the world for these people, and they can step into a completely different realm where they're making kind, compassionate choices for animals. I've been an animal rights activist for 30 years. It's been my entire adult life and I just really care about animals. I feel a connection with them. I grew up with a lot of animals and I hate to see them being treated the way that so many are and I want to do whatever I can to change the situation and I think it's possible. I, I've seen big changes in the last 30 years and I think we've got a lot of momentum. Well, I just keep at it because I think we're, we're making a difference. <laughs>